the power of this code. So yesterday, the Memphis Grizzlies defeated the LA Lakers in a huge Kobe Bryant and LeBron James ritual. So I truly have a gift, guys, for seeing how this universe is coded. So I'm going to go through the numbers that I presented before the game and then show you what played out. So I said the odds are not out yet, but I think the Grizzlies win this. LeBron is a doubt. Turned out LeBron didn't play. But he may play, and he has 157 regular season wins for LA. The reason LeBron is supposedly injured now is to keep him on 157 wins and 113 losses because Kobe Bryant equals 157 and Kobe Bryant equals 113. And Kobe Bryant died a span of 157 days after his birthday. And he was drafted round one, pick 13, and his NBA debut was November the 3rd, 11-3. So the reason why LeBron is injured, in quotation marks, is to keep him on that 157-113 record in the regular season with the LA Lakers. The 2018 World Cup was the World Cup after Kobe died, and the final was played on 15-7, the 15th of July, and France won that final 4-2 versus Croatia. The game here between the Grizzlies and the Lakers was 919 days after Kobe's 42nd birthday, and 919 is the 157th prime number, and the Queen's funeral was on 919. I've shown you in my Kobe Bryant decoded book and Queen Elizabeth II decoded book that Kobe and the Queen are super synced up, hence Kobe's Queen tattoo. Hence that crown tattoo Kobe had and all the numbers that connect them. So as I mentioned, Kobe died a span of 157 days after his birthday. 157 is the 37th prime number, a huge number in the Bible. In Gematria, Los Angeles equals 37. And the Grizzlies and Los Angeles Lakers met each other on 37 date numerology. The Grizzlies got their 37th win and they did that one month and two days after the recent anniversary of Kobe's death, and 37 is the 12th prime. I said Grizzly star player is number 12, Ja Morant, so he may have a big game. Turned out he had a huge game. I'll get to that later. Lakers can get 19th road loss exactly 19 weeks after the NBA season began. It began on 1018, which connects to Luke 1018, which is all about Satan being cast out of heaven like a lightning bolt. The game was played on 19 date numerology. In Gematria, Queen equals 19. Grizzlies got their 19th conference win. Kobe Bryant was accused of raping a 19-year-old girl in Colorado. This game was a span of 134 days after the NBA season began, and Kobe's last ever game was on 13-4, 2016. This was the Grizzlies' 60th game of the season, and Kobe scored 60 points in his last game. The Lakers got their 33rd season loss 33 days after the three-year anniversary of Kobe's death, and Kobe died three years and 33 days before this game. The game was played on 73 date numerology pure. 73 is the 21st prime number. The Lakers got their 21st conference loss and the 2018 World Cup was the 21st edition of the World Cup. So I'm showing you once again that everything's connected when it comes to professional sports. In Gematria, Kobe equals 21. Lakers equals 21. If we go back to the 73 and 21, Queen Elizabeth was married for 73 years and she got married at the age of 21. The game was 23 weeks and one day after the Queen's 919 funeral. 231 is the 21st triangular number. This was big. The Lakers dropped to 1621 in the conference. This was their 37th conference game for another 37. But 1621 is the 257th prime number. In Gematria, Los Angeles Lakers equals 257. It was 12th seed against 2nd seed, and the Grizzlies coach stayed on 122 regular season losses. Kobe's highest scoring game was in his 666 game. That was in 2006, and it was played on 1-2-2. The Lakers won that game, scoring 122 points. 
So look at this in play, guys. At one point, the Grizzlies were a decent price because they were down by six. So I saw the score was 2020. Kobe died in 2020, which was the same year that LeBron and the LA Lakers won the NBA Finals. Then the score at one point was 38-38. It was very close for the majority of the game. 38-year-old LeBron recently scored 38 points on the 38th day of the year to become the NBA's all-time leading point scorer. 42-41. Kobe died in the 42nd year of his life and he died at age 41. 42-42. LeBron and the Lakers won the 2020 NBA Finals 4-2. Kobe played 42 minutes in his last ever NBA game and he won his first NBA Finals, 4-2. It was interesting that the UEFA Champions League final between Paris Saint-Germain and Bayern Munich was on Kobe Bryant's 42nd birthday. And since Kobe's death, all the NBA Finals have finished 4-2. The Lakers beat the Heat 4-2, the Bucks beat the Suns 4-2, and the Warriors just beat the Celtics 4-2. The beast reigns for 42 months. The halftime score was Memphis Grizzlies 46, Los Angeles Lakers 49. So the Lakers had a three-point lead. But what stood out to me was the Grizzlies had 46 points at halftime because LeBron became 4-6 and six in NBA Finals after winning the 2020 NBA Finals with LA. They actually won those NBA Finals, guys, on National Father Daughter Day, the year Kobe and his daughter Gianna died in the helicopter crash, which was one day after LeBron overtook Kobe in the scoring charts to become the third highest scorer in the NBA. And you can see here that the Lakers were up by three points at halftime. So look at this, guys. 57-57, so a very close game. Kobe retired 5-7 and seven in NBA Finals. He won five out of seven NBA Finals, guys. Then we had 59-59. On the 59th day of the year, eh? 59 is the 17th prime number, and LeBron and the Lakers won LA's 17th NBA championship in 2020. This game was also 59 days after Pope Benedict died. Crazy. And LeBron and Kobe sync up with Pope Benedict and Pope Francis. 61-61. So again, keeping it really close. LeBron James' highest scoring game, 61 points. King James' highest scoring game was against the Sacramento Kings. 61 is the 18th prime number, and LeBron and Kobe made their NBA debuts at age 18. Remember that LeBron and Kobe were both drafted 26-6, and Pope Francis is the 266th Pope, guys. Also, World War I began in 1914, and 19 times 14 equals 266. So, World War III is on its way whilst we have this 266th Pope and all the codes that I've been doing indicating that World War III is around the corner. I told you the game was played on 73 date numerology pure, so of course we get 73-73. So this is late in the third quarter, guys. This game was very close for the majority of the game. And unless you can do what I do, you're probably getting nervous throughout this game thinking the Lakers might pull off the win. But when you code like this, you see where the game's going. So the game finished 121-109. So they ended up winning by 12 points. All right? 12 points. And if you look in the third quarter, they won the third quarter by 12 points. And Ja Morant wears number 12. I said in my code that he would have a big game. And he got 39 points. One of his highest scoring games that he's ever had. And... You've got number 12 dominating this game in a game where the Grizzlies won by 12 to get their 37th win of the season, the 12th prime, one month and two days after the anniversary of Kobe Bryant's death. So, absolutely mind-blowing, guys. Look at the game recap, 228, and the game was played on 228. It's not man doing this, simply put. It's not man. By the way, Giannis, I had the books to beat the Nets. Giannis got 33 points. 
all right 33 points 33 days after the three-year anniversary of Kobe's death Giannis like Gianna Kobe's daughter mind-blowing stuff Giannis born 12-6 and Kobe and Gianna died 1-2-6 which connects to 42 because 1260 days is 42 months so thank God every day for giving me the gift to do this. People won a ton of money yesterday. All right, I did that plus four seven five pick in Serie A where Roma got shocked by Cremonese. Said Jan Morant would have a monster game. He did. The player prop came in. Said that the Grizzlies would win. I said that the Bucks would win. But again, the reason I called all of this. It's through the Holy Spirit and my understanding of biblical scripture and seeing what's playing out. So there you have it, guys, the power of this code. Now truly is the time to learn this code, guys. You can use it for different aspects of your life, but now's the time to be learning it because there's not many people online or on YouTube revealing this level of work, guys. It's as simple as that, and deep down you know it. So much love, take care, have a blessed week, and uh, much love to you all.